Uh, welcome to the Safety Critical Systems Club uh, seminar on Agile Development of Safety Systems. Today we've got six speakers uh, giving us a full program, including a panel session. The speakers are covering the whole range of uh, Agile issues to the safety development, uh, ranging from uh, detailed coding and uh, programmatic and project issues through to procurement in an Agile way uh, on MOD type uh, procurement. So it's a great pleasure to introduce Felix Redmill, who has done a lot of historical work on Agile. The subject of the seminar is Agile, and years ago I had quite a number of years leading teams in, pro in large projects using evolutionary delivery, which is a part of Agile. And we experience a lot of difficulties which had to be overcome, and these are hardly ever mentioned. In fact, they're never mentioned by people describing Agile. So what I was doing today in my presentation was describing the difficulties which I had experienced and what need to be overcome to make Agile a success. Okay, so my presentation today was about our experience at Altran with investigating high-integrity Agile processes for software development. We've been looking at Agile for some time now and working out how we can combine it with our best practices from high-integrity software engineering to see if we can find the best of both worlds. In particular, we find some of the Agile practices are well known to us um, and familiar. Some Agile practices we're not so sure about and we think need some extra work. And we think there are some blind spots in Agile where practices common to us are not known in the Agile community but where there's significant room to improve. Um, I'm also going to talk about some experience you have with deploying these ideas on two or three projects at the company so far. Okay, these are the partners. Uh, we have the Industrial Energy Rights Working Group, uh, and uh, I'm in the DENS part of MOD and DSTL. Agile methods are quite remarkable in being a uh, great mix of the best and, and the worst and everything in between. So what I did in my talk, well, in the spirit of my book, so I should mention the SMOOC, Agile, uh, the good, the hype, and the ugly, is to uh, try to sort out the wheat from the chaff and to explain what are the real contributions of Agile methods and what are the aspects that really should be ignored or discarded because they are harmful. And there's a mix of the brilliant, the not so brilliant and the really bad. What's important, of course, is the good and the brilliant. And uh, I uh, try to put Agile methods in the context of 40 years of rich and productive uh, history of software engineering. I, as I speak about the uh, certification of safety critical systems. The main topics uh, is about the uh, railway domain and the uh, offshore domain. And we use uh, our new method uh, named Safe Scrum. And we emphasize uh, the separation of concern as we have to do the good things with the waterfall model. But we have also have the good things with the, all the different agile methods. And we as a result, we also have a lot of uh, add-ons to the sprints, like the configuration management, the regression parts, and also uh, communication with the assessor and so on. This is uh, to ensure that we satisfy the requirements in the standards, so it can be certified. Completely, and I was talking today um, around model-based systems engineering and how it can be applied in an agile way to um, safety standards such as ISO 26262 and DO178B. So talk really covered around some of the issues around systems and software engineering that we're currently seeing, how we can start to bring agile into this process and specifically how we can apply safety or safety processes into the Agile process and manage it within our toolset.